So this is going to be a quick little uh, visual tutorial, kind of, not really tutorial, just uh, kind of a how I did it, how I made this, this thing. First off, this is basically a, this is Venice photo I took a couple years back, and so I decided I wanted to recreate it into an edge of the world type image. I have one that I also did in Italy, uh, a different trip, that's a... Uh, it was down in, in Vernazza, which is one of the Cinque Terre uh, towns, basically five cities. And I accidentally deleted the file. So I only have one print, and it was up during an event I just had recently. It was called Art World, and it got a lot of comments on it. And it's been something I wanted to redo anyway. So it just kind of reinvigorated me to get back and make some more of these. So I found this one. I started playing with some in Minneapolis, which I still intend to do with Minneapolis and St. Paul, but uh, I wanted to get a better shot of what I had when I was working on that, but I started looking through some old files and found this one and thought it'd be really fun to do. So basically I kind of take the image and flip it around as you can see and then uh, create it. Right now it looks like I'm trying to make some kind of shadows because as the light would be coming down on one side uh, it wouldn't be equally lit on all sides of the cube kind of making this edge of the world cube type world so so I'm trying to figure out here to do it's still kind of learning uh, techniques and here you can see I'm deleting some stuff because I don't want both sides of the image to be exactly the same so kind of taking out cleaning up the image of the stuff that was removed the same thing with these little scraps are up here. And then these two sticks on the side, they're too close too, so I'll probably get rid of them as well. Just to make it a little bit more believable, a little bit more, uh, I don't know, just like not just disappearing into nothing. Like you can see the other sticks in the, in the water have the reflection and that just kind of comes down to the edge. So I'll get rid of those here in a second. But yeah, so I really like these these images are pretty fun and just kind of get the imagination going and it's it's not that hard to do but at the same time it is because you have to have the right the right image it's fun to have something that's close to the edge it kind of gives you that not really vertigo but just kind of that feeling like apprehension like something's gonna fall off or just kind of makes it feel a little bit interesting but still definitely building my technique on these and hopefully my technique for this will get better just as my technique for my other series that I have, the Vanishing series. Hopefully those continue to get better. But it's a lot of fun just kind of building these more surrealistic images. It's one thing to go out and take this beautiful shot. And that's, that's really rewarding in itself. But for me, I also want to come back and just turn it into something more that I created, not just something that I captured, if that makes sense. So it's kind of what I'm doing here, and I'm trying to, right now I'm trying to figure out the shading still, which is, I know there's a better way to do it, I just haven't figured it out yet. So you can see me playing around with different, different techniques to do it. Completely self-taught on Photoshop, you know, I'll dig in and try to find a tutorial here or there, and then try to do something that I see, but or take a few different uh, different ideas that I've seen through tutorials and try to blend it together to make something that I want to make. Um, so yeah, so definitely self-taught on that. So it's it's a slow process for me. Hopefully they get a lot better. Uh, during Art of World, people kept on asking me when they they saw my Il Bordo. Uh, hopefully I can recreate that and you can see what I'm talking about, but uh, maybe I'll find a way to pop it up or something. But uh, yeah, they kept on asking me if I went to this uh, the Swedish or American Swedish Art Institute and here in Minneapolis and saw this show that they had with this, uh, I guess they had some guy, uh, I think Eric Johansson. And I hadn't been there, but I looked up some of his stuff, and it's 
really incredible stuff. So I hope I can get on his level. And then also they had some images, I can't remember what they called it, but uh, it more specifically reminded them of these kind of shots with the, the edge dropping off. So it was cool. It's was, it was cool that, you know, that they had saw that and brought it back to my attention and yeah, it's kind of just reinvigorating me to get back and, and try these again. Which I, I really do like making them. They're a lot of fun. And hopefully I can make a, a good series of them. I still want to do the one on Minneapolis. And I think it'd be fun to do one of Minneapolis and St. Paul. If you didn't know, that's that's where I'm from originally, is Minnesota and Minneapolis, St. Paul area. And it'd be fun because it's you know, it's kind of that divide of the Mississippi River that kind of splits the two apart and it'd be fun to have an image of one on one side of the river and one on the other side with that gap between them. So that would be something fun to do as well. So hopefully I can do that in the future. I'm just trying to get the right sky and the, the right image for it though before I get into it. And here I didn't really like the way the the sky just came together so came in trying to change the, the clouds a little bit so it doesn't look so entirely symmetrical just trying to give it that a little bit more of that authentic feel like it's just all one sky all together so which is kind of too bad because you can never really totally recreate nature the way it is I think it's always the most beautiful thing on its own it's hard to re-image that and imitate it but wanted to come in here so hopefully I did a good job at the end of it it's somewhat believable yeah so this is about it this is uh, getting close to the end just kind of starting to adjust the, uh, the image a little bit and yeah from here I, I think I go back one more time that's not in this video and just clean up the sky a little bit more kind of the same process I'm doing right now so you'll see it a little bit different in the final product but pretty much exactly the same as what you've seen right here so I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this little video of me creating it thanks for watching